My name is Christian Rudt. I work as a program manager at Microsoft. In this video, I will show you how to generate forecast and modify it in Excel with AX 2012 R3 Demand Forecasting. From the Master Planning menu, under Demand Forecasting, we open Generate Statistical Baseline Forecast. Here we define the historical horizon that we want to use when generating our statistical forecast. I set the starting date to the 1st of February and the end date to the last day of November. Then we define when we want the baseline forecast to begin. I set this to the day after the 1st of December 2012. In order to include items in the forecast generation, they have to be part of at least the one item allocation key. In here I can go in and I can select filters if I only want to generate forecast for some of my item allocation keys. I leave it blank as I want to use all of them. I click show more fields and you notice that now I can define my forecasting period. The first thing I define is the forecast bucket. This can be either day, week or month. I choose month. Then I define the forecast horizon. This is the period that I will calculate my forecast for. I choose 12, meaning that I will calculate it for 12 months. Freeze time fence that I set to 1, meaning that I cannot change the first month of forecast from the starting date. Below that, we have the manual adjustments. With this field, my manual transactions will not be overridden by the next forecast generation. I click OK to start generating the statistical baseline forecast. Now an info log is showing me that the statistical baseline forecast has been generated and that I can click here to open the Excel file. In Excel, my data is placed in a pivot table. The column B is showing me the item allocation keys D, L and T and in the second row you see the months. December, January, February, and so on for my forecast. Notice that the first month, December 2012, is yellow as I cannot edit it. This was our frozen period. As this is a pivot table, we can choose how we see data. Let's try to add all the items under the item allocation keys. Maybe we prefer to see the item names instead of the numbers, so we can simply change that over here. I could also choose for each of the item allocation keys to see in which state that these items are planned to be sold. And if I want to see the forecast per customer group and state, I can simply add the customer group description and then switch them so that my customer group is on top of my state. This way I will see all the states under each customer group. And now that we are looking at the states, I might want to see all the customers forecast for each of the states as well. Let's change the view to see the products under each item allocation key and then Let's go in and see the historical demand, which are also available in the cube. As you can see here, I have my historical demand starting all the way back in February 2011. Now let's try to modify the forecast. And in order for us to have a good idea of what the forecast should be, we will say that we want to show both the actual demand and the forecast quantity and then go to the first months after the frozen period. You can see that the actual demand for January 2013 is 370. Based on this, we want the forecast quantity to be 700, so we simply type this in. For the items below that, we want each of them to have a forecast of 100, so we are also changing that. In February, we want to change the forecast quantity for the entire item allocation key from 1000 to 2000. Notice that when I double the item allocation key forecast, 
the forecast for each of the products in the item allocation key is also doubled. Now that we have made the modifications, let's publish it to the cube. We'll go to the OLAP tools and take the what if analysis and here we will publish the changes. Now the changes are published and you will notice that the little red triangles that we had next to the numbers that we changed are now gone as they are now the same as the numbers in the cube. As we have the data in Excel, it's very easy to make some graphs that visualize the forecast for me. Here I have created a graph showing me the forecast for each of the item allocation keys. Below that I have a graph showing me the historical demand as well as the baseline forecast that we just generated. This concluded the video Generate Forecast and Modify in Excel using AX2012 R3 with demand forecasting. Thank you for watching.